the Iron Man Mark 85 by Hot Toys and his companion Rescue are the 1-6 scale figures we are going to talk about today. But not the stock figures, we are going to talk about a mod was done by Morgan's Workshop, I will add the link in the description, you can contact them, that will elevate these figures to a whole other level. Before we go further, I want to say a big thanks to my good friend Bob Dylan for giving me the opportunity to test these pieces and let me tell you, they look incredible. This is the Mark 85 as it comes from Hot Toys, but in this case we will no longer need some accessories such as these batteries. That's right, because it is modded with a touch LED that looks just incredible and I'm going to show you here close just by touching on the chest plate the LED lights will all turn on which is incredible the options you have with this figure without using batteries are much greater and as you can see everything is lightened up perfectly this is all done by an inner battery that of course can be recharged or you can use it with a cable for continuous power but this figure like this really looks amazing there are some restrictions of course you cannot rotate the arms 360 but the elbows and the ends you do can remove and change for others without any problem so this is a big plus you are not restricted to some ends only you can also use the gauntlet which is very easy you already know how to replace the gauntlet because the leds and the lights operate not by wires it's quite easy to do this modification and morgan did it amazingly as you can see everything is lightened up looks really really good how great it is to have this led modification without wires and without batteries this figure like this it's just amazing. For you to charge, it's very easy. You got here two cables. One cable, the red one, for continuous use if you want to use it, for example, with a power bank. And the black cable for you to charge the inner battery. Of course, this comes with a USB cable. Again, with the black uh, color and the red color for the respective functions. That then, of course, comes in the manual provided by Morgan's workshop. But I really like the mod they did with this Mark 85. You can use a power bank as I did to charge it. You will not have any problem with that. And the wires are very well hidden inside. You just need to tuck them inside and then just close there that piece and you will not see any wires. Looks really impressive and the touch LED is really really good and works perfectly with this Iron Man. And we got as well other accessory that was very well modded too. Here the lightning refocuser, as you can see, using a touch LED, this looks incredible. Here they modded a bit the pins to have contact onto the suit, so later when we use it, it will all turn on at once. This piece has its own battery that you can charge over there, so is an independent piece, but with a suit work as one. To install the lightning refocuser onto the body is exactly the same way as you would do with a stock Mark 85 from Hot Toys. You have those holes over there, you just need to place the pins into the correct position. And since Morgan's Workshop, they had contacts onto that pins, this is really the amazing part. Once you touch the chest part, it will lighten up everything. And this is what I think looks really amazing. Imagine no cables, USB with inner batteries. Amazing work done by them. I'm really impressed with the way this Mark 85 looks as it is. This USB mod works perfectly and all lighten up. This really shines. Rescue use basically the same function as we saw with a Mark 85. Let me bring the figure here closer. Just take here an overall look. And here it is. The LED touch works flawlessly. And as you can see, all the lights are lighting up. I think this will be a game changer for many collectors. The figure does look pretty cool all lighting up. Here in the back, you can open, of course, these flaps as you will do with the stock figure, you got those LED up there lighting up and here you got this 
yellow lights that look pretty pretty cool. I think these figures once lighten up they really come to life. As for rescue uh, cables you do see a cable over there in the leg that is tucked inside and then you do have other cable here in her left wrist that then is to attach that blaster. But first I'm going to turn it off and we are going to check the other accessories. Of course with rescue you will get as well a USB cable that you can use either to charge the battery or to use a continuous power through a power bank or a wall outlet as you prefer. But we are going to check as well the accessories. Here is the first piece that they molded. As you can see there's here a molded to use with the drone. To install this piece in our figure is exactly basically the same way as you would do with a stock figure. We will need to re remove this small piece here that opens there a slot and then carefully you just need to insert back on. We are ready with the drone installed. What's nice about this, I activated this now by mistake but it's no problem as you can see everything lighten up. How amazing does this look? Looks really really cool. All lighten up with the drone pieces, all with light, this figure really pops up. Here in the back you can check as well that all the LEDs in the drone pieces are working correctly. There's a lot of lightning going around but looks really really cool. Let me turn it off now and check the blaster. Here we have of course the blaster that comes uh, with a stock figure but is already molded to have the LED function. Basically you just need to use these drone pieces and attach them to the blaster and once they are both installed then it's done. You just need to attach the cable to rescue. Basically this is where we'll use that piece that stays under a wrist. With the blaster already inserted into the slot you can see all these drone pieces and the blaster itself with a huge light that looks really really good. Of course now you can use any pose you want like having rescue throwing the blaster that it will look really amazing. It's a figure that really benefits for having these LED mods. I think it takes the figure to a whole other level with everything lighting up using the battery or using a continuous power. Both these figures the Mark 85 and the rescue look amazing with this mod. I think if you have the chance contact Morgan's workshop and have this mod done in any Iron Man you have, I'm sure you will not regret it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.